Albany County stands poised to take a controversial issue to court. Thanks for sticking with us. I'm Cody Holyoke. And I'm Ann McCloy. Legal action is being taken tonight over crude oil trains traveling right through neighborhoods in Albany County. CBS 6's Tori Wells is live at the Ezra Prentice Homes. So, Tori, tell us about the concerns tonight. Well, families live here, children play here, and the trains are right on the other side of this fence. This is really close, and that's the concern. But tonight, the company that moves its oil through this area told me it's always followed the rules. B.B. White lives in the Ezra Prentice homes with his six-year-old son. His backyard backs up to these trains, and he's concerned about the ones that carry crude oil. What they show on TV, the way they've been blowing up, you know, it's just right here in my backyard. We don't have no money to move, so we just stuck here. It's a concern Albany County Executive Dan McCoy shares, announcing today legal action. The first is a brief the county filed against the U.S. Secretary of Transportation about rail safety measures. The county says those rules don't get unsafe trains off the tracks soon enough and don't implement lower train speeds in the Albany area. What we're saying today is we won today. The other action is a notice of intent to sue global companies, which moves crude oil through the area. The county, working with Earth Justice and other advocacy groups, alleges that Global violated parts of the Clean Air Act and that it shouldn't be handling Bakken crude oil. Because uh, in their permit application, they did not accurately describe the physical and chemical characteristics of Bakken, which emits higher levels of pollution than other types of crude oil. The notice gives the company 60 days to respond. Copies have been sent to the governor, DEC, and EPA. The county hoping a lawsuit won't need to be filed. And I hope we don't have to do that. I'm hoping they're, they're going to comply. I'm hoping that the EPA and the state and the feds will all get on board and see where we're coming from because this is about quality of life. Now, I contacted global companies and was told that as of this afternoon, the company has not received any notice of intent to file a lawsuit. The company also saying, quote, global has worked closely with federal and state environmental agencies and has complied with all regulatory and permitting requirements. Global is fully committed to operating all of its facilities in a safe, legal and environmentally responsible matter, manner, rather, and that it will defend itself against any claims that it hasn't. We are live in Albany. Tori Wells, CBS 6 News.